Part 18 The Influences of the Inhabitants from the Vacuum The true soul is the heart, but due to vain category, you forged it invisibly, never existed. But the living beings, inhabitants from the large vacuum, which rule by a hierarchy, like the ones from the living beings there on Earth, for being deformed in two different categories. Then the infant asks, And are there in the vacuum more living beings than here on Earth? I reply, No, because Earth is a true animal place, producing lives of all forms, vegetables, beings with their large hierarchy, animals, beings with their hierarchy and very big differences from one another. Land and water both are living beings, factories of living beings. Therefore, in the space there are only inferior beings which are divided in parts with differences one from another for being the sun, the generator, the creator, the moon acting with its magnetic effects as a co-adjuvant and the stars with their salutary influences electrifying currents which fertilize the formation of beings and so many people used to dream with the souls from the invisible world as if they existed completely suggested by these things that you think they exist but they don't exist the suggestion has great part of magnetic influence, making the living beings see these fantasies under the magnetic power. Therefore, the soul only one, which is the heart, which is the soul of the body, the soul of the life, in it are the good and the evil feelings. It is the owner of the body. It is the first to feel the good and bad things. And there still are living beings who dream about these existences, which in reality you never saw it to be able to prove it. It is the world of the blind with open eyes, and that is why you do not know how to divulge these things. You see, but do not know what you are seeing. You learn things, but without being certain if they are true or not, and go on talking as if you are sure of what you are talking about never seeing the existence of such things to know whether you were right or not. And so, the living beings from the vacuum there, for being endowed with a great magnetic and electric force, it is that they take advantage from the magnetic force they have. They present themselves on earth in front of anyone as they want to show up as a relative of the living being himself, as a saint as an Indian or any other way they want to and the living beings who do not know these things nor know how these things are done say that show up in front of them his mother or this or that one spirit as they may also see of any other person they appear as they want due to the great electric and magnetic force they have and the living being who does not know these things does not know how to divulge them nor how to define them say that indeed immortality exists and get convinced of this false reality due to not knowing how these fantasies are made of therefore it is admissible that those who do not know or are not aware and has seen these things think that there are spirits and on immortality then those who have seen and used to see start to talk about the passing they will do upon dying in the hope that during the spiritual life they will be happier those are people who suffer and say they are paying for what they did in past incarnations that is why many have false certainty of immortality. But if they knew how these movements are made, 
how these things are done, they would interpret it differently. That is why people are still behind for the truth of truths. That is why spiritism is still standing. When you get to know how to divulge all of these fakes, spiritism will finish. The experiences will stop and everyone will be firm with the certainty about things. Life is of the foreigner, is of those who live out of the rational superior's journey, lost and losing themselves on this world. In this valley of tears and pain, seeing there the divulgation of the correctness of the highest good from rational superior, and even so, still asking for mold of sufferer, living in peregrination with a faith of nomad Jews, being able to now to drink the water of happiness from the fountain of this writing, thinking this to be a dubious fountain due to you living with so many knots in the entrails, knots of pure rudeness drunken in this world, which is a request of misfortunes, a journey of pain, in this allegoric hill of suffering, everyone suffering through this fountain of lost people, laughs of pain, in passing of everything, rude, drunken, and convinced that you will not suffer, but always suffering, life of rotten ones in life. And so, what is this world worth? Nothing. What are all in the world worth? Nothing. The illusion is what valorizes the things until be disillusioned. And after the disillusion, things do not have any value anymore. By that, you may see how this is a fountain of lost ones, always living full of miseries. Many times you do not notice the illusion, blinded by it. And when disillusioned, it is that you see all the wasted time, how much work in vain without a need, how much discontentment without gratitude. And so, the best in life is not to mind and its belongings and do not valorize anything, because nothing has value. What makes the living being attach a value to this or that is the blindness of illusion. It is because he is in illusion, not equilibrated, a true drunken. That is why the life of the unconscious because it is clear that nothing is done with conscious. Where there is illusion, there is no conscience. Where there is fantasy, there is no conscience. Deceived, supposing they have no conscience. Sorry. Deceived, supposing they have conscience on the judgment of things and falling into contradictions on what is said due to seeing that there is no conscience. Where there are taste, illusions, and ideals, the conscience disappears. Because today you like it with conscience, tomorrow does not like it anymore. Where is the conscience? Where there are adventures, there is no conscience. You use conscience as an excuse given to the good interpretation to your conveniences, to realize a plan idolized by yourselves. You talk about conscience? I like this with conscience. I have conscience of what I say. I do not like this with conscience due to this or that. You do not like it today, but tomorrow you will like it. You do not like it today, but tomorrow you will. You do not accept it today, but tomorrow you will. You do not accept it because you have conscience. Tomorrow you will change and accept it. Due to this or that, the conscience of everyone is not trustworthy. It is deceiving and passing. If in life itself has no warranties, how come, how come can it be found in conscience? If life is not positive, how can conscience be positive? It is because you are not pure, clean, and perfect, but impure and imperfect. And because of it, in your conscience, there is no solidification for the person to stay at a certain point and be able to say that he has a pure, clean, clear, and crystalline conscience those who do say they do fail 
to say the truth to those who know what human beings are alike. Human being is a sufferer. He is traitor of himself and of the incautious ones who do not understand the nature. Therefore, what are you in the world? Apparently you are everything, but nothing in truth. True blinds with open eyes. Who goes on saying that you are right, as if you were from a right nature, from a right consciousness, as if you were pure, clean, and perfect? Part 19 The Disequilibrium and the Unconsciousness The conscience of the virile, suffering human is a conscience of misery and pain. But many are based on the talk <clears throat> so and so has no conscience. If he had, he would not do what he does. Parrots who learn to talk about the conscience because they heard the other talk about it, thinking they were very right and acting in a ridiculous and shameful way to those who know life. Then the infant asks, and how can we stop being so unbalanced in relation to rational superior? I say, it is necessary to read a lot, not just a bit. Read these rational writings a lot to become integrally immunized. Then your faulty conscience from a savage animal disappears and remains the true one, which is the rational, rational consciousness which you use there in the world to call without knowing. There is the subconscious, and this one is superior to the conscience. Then you say, the subconscious, but the word is rational immunization, and you know that in rational immunization there is no hierarchy. Once immunized, everyone is equal. In the subconscious, there is superiority between one to another, and being rational immunization, a natural thing, everyone will be immunized and everyone will become equal. This is a warning to those who think that consciousness is a solid and perfect thing, and in examining the things one sees that it has nothing solid and even less perfect. Then the infant says, what is it worth to us living like that? I reply, it is worth nothing, because you came from nothing. You are nothing, and into nothing you return. Therefore, you give so much value to everything which is worth nothing, due to you being inebriated, in illusion, and betraying yourselves. Life is summarized in a rassure of misunderstanding and the living beings, at the same time, they understand each other. They are misunderstanding. As it is, you live in agreement for a while and disagree at a later time. Due to the rest years of life, due to the effluviums of epopariums, due to the whisperings of chrysanthemums, due to the wreath of frauds created without limits, which subjugate the beings to live like this horribly. And so, in all walks of life, everything lives in the pale, pretentious, and stupid life of the Cleopantums. Cleopantum means educated with authority to reach an elderly age without having the tyrosinium of the true things to be able to live without being bored. Where there are worries, there is backwardness. Where there are complaints, there is backwardness and suffering. What is it worth to the living being worried today, being so afflicted, and in a short time being happy and satisfied? Who worries is a retarded one, is a Cleopantum. The living being who learns not to worry is a living being with a lot of rational equilibrium. 
and the living being who worries about everything is an unbalanced, is a beast, is an uneducated one with the title of civilized without being so. Therefore, the intelligent living being, the king of the wise men, never worries about anything. The mediocre being worries about everything and suffers the consequences of his mediocrity. The living being who has the rational equilibrium does not mind the mediocre to what this one does or says, but faces the mediocre the way it should be faced. See, therefore, that the world is so far away from the rational equilibrium, and that is why you live like beasts, in misunderstanding, without knowing what you are doing, without knowing that all of this is not worth anything. And so, the consciousness always putting the living being in disadvantage. If everything was deeply ruled by consciousness, it is clear that there would not be injustice. If there were consciousness, there would not be greed, ambition, or betrayal. Where is the people's consciousness? Nowhere, because some want to be better than the next, but everyone is equal. There is no consciousness. Consciousness only exists in name to enchant the retarded ones who cannot see, because if there were consciousness, you would love the fellow one as you do yourselves. Therefore, the living being's consciousness is an arrangement of the disguised ones, of the Judas, so that with this Kabbalah they triumph with their desired ways and win with their conveniences their desired points. Part 20 The Kingdoms of Animals Sky, Earth, and Water The Three Kingdoms of Animals Which live in this vast and big deluge of fire that arose there? That is there, and no one ever knew how to define nor divulge why you are the way you are and the world be the way it is. These three kingdoms co-adunate to this cremation, making everyone to live in this plateau without knowing why muses live as this lonely world in the kingdom of fire. The blood in the veins represents the fire inside the body. The living beings are offspring of fire, and that is why this world is of suffering. Since you are born up to life's extinction, everything catches fire, everything burns, and everything finishes. The three kingdoms, sky, earth, and water, depend on the other three, the sun, the moon, and the stars, to form the multiplication of the beings. And from these beings, there is another kingdom to account for. Then, all together, they form the seven parts of the reason you are so. But the people looking to the conjunct of these seven kingdoms could not know how everything was generated, born, grown, and flourished. Everyone lives in these adventurers' activities as uncoordinated of themselves, forgetting what you are, judging to be what you are not, convinced by forgetfulness that all of this is a fountain of lost people and a singular hell. And that is why no one found out or could ever find out why there is such in the world, why there is such a formation, and now I, rational superior, giving to know to everyone the beginning and the end of this world, of everyone and everything, from where you came out of and why you came out of, from where you came and why you came, and to where you are going. The world is approaching closer to its last phases of decadence over all of these theses, which instead of bringing improvements, only bring everything from bad to worse. 
The illusion deceives everyone, the appearances too, and everyone in these games of pain, calamities, and unquietness of all sizes, of all ways, living there in this hell, subject to everything and only meeting suffering and more and more suffering. I, Rational Superior, with this writing, talking to all the liberation from the bitter submission by rational immunization. Now, the living being asks, what is this? What is rational immunization? How is it? How is it not? Read it from the beginning to the end and you will know everything bit by bit. And so, to the sons of fire, which are all beings, it is always necessary to remind them where all of this came from. Part 21 Astrology, Rational Immunization was born in Brazil. The premature good is for all of those who search it, and evil is also found when searched. Life is not only the base of evil, the evil base only hits those who are unsheltered by the supreme force to everything and everyone. The supreme force is the base of the living beings who have their signs and planets of great influence. That is why they shine for a while, but later, due to not understand the beyond <clears throat> and not seek the invisible base, and not seek the invisible base, unpleasant things start to happen in their lives. And the better they are, they go from bad to worse. As there are there on the world, there are riches without peace, millionaires and people highly well situated with no peace. Because it is not in the money, everything that the living being needs to an, e to an equilibrated march in his life. If money brought health, the rich ones would not lose it, as are a whole of things that you get in life when the living beings have them in their sign and planets. The influences of the planet and sign which are belongings of life is fruit of a study originated in Arabia, done by the ancient wise men. Arabia is a country of many tales, many stories, and much romanticism, where there were in other times, gold and marble castles. These castles, with time passing, are being demolished, and the people adopted new systems. But there is no one, still today, who does not appreciate the old Arabia's past, with its stories, tales, and romance of past days. There were wise men born in Arabia, veteran connoisseurs of astrology, who searched for in the map of life that everyone brings on the hands, and with the lapidation of astrologic science, they started to pay attention to the celestial bodies for many and many centuries, noticing their movements and naming them as a planet and sign. This study was spread throughout all Asia, becoming universally known afterwards. At those times, science was all natural and they communicated with the celestial bodies naturally. The living being acquiring this way everything he needs. The wise men thus proved to each person the reason he was born, what he had to be, what he was going on in life, and what would happen in each person's life. In the course of time, the science with reigned long. In the course of time, the science which reigned long ago to guide everyone was being put aside, and the new generations creating new sciences and abandoning the astrology knowledge. During that time, the knowledge was only that, and with time, the living beings created the new alphabet, which you use until today, and which they thought was better. They left behind the true alphabet, which is of astrology, where the living being finds his entire life the way it is, the way it is not, and how it has to be. This is the alphabet created in other times. When everyone knew why they were born, what they has to be in life, and what would happen to them until the day of their death. The progress and the way of understanding were completely different. The new generation started to come up with new alphabets, 
arising then all the embarrassments that exist in the world. The happiest living beings of all are not those who are governed by their sign or planet, but those who are governed by another different part of these vacuums, which is the rational part. The rational part is that governs all planets, its strength is always above them all. And the study of astrology, which is a very advanced study for people to balance themselves back then, did not have any value compared with the strength of the rational part. It was only useful for the living being to know why he was born and the course of his life. It was very good to free the people. It was more advanced than this system, this alphabet invented by the man on earth, who became an animal at once. They invented this alphabet to see if they could avoid or cut off those things that had to happen. But in those times there was no god on earth. God was the sun and the goddess was the moon. Above all this knowledge, above all this knowledge is the force of the rational part, which does not follow caprices of planets or signs, because these are subjugated to the superior part, and the planets follow what the superior part wants. And the planets follows what this superior part wants. By that time, the orientations were different starting to name on the things they saw on the stars, thus starting so, the ABC. For example, Jupiter was a letter, Saturn was another letter, Venus another letter, and to each planet a letter, to each sign a number, thus completing the, this alphabet to understand through it as you understand up to today. However, the astrology alphabet was much better than this one you invented and adopted until today. Because with the astrological knowledge, every person knew each other. To know each other, you did not need to ask who the person was. It sufficed to ask him to let you see his hand. You knew to whom you were talking to, his age, what the person was going through, and what the person would go through in life. It was a much better alphabet, as was also much better the way of life. Because everyone knew each other, everyone knew everyone. This alphabet in the course of time came down, and living beings wanted to see if they could live still better than they lived. And they started with inventions, knowing that they were getting worse. Because the improvement sought is as you are seeing there in the universe. This astrological alphabet is very easy to those who want to learn it, and I do not teach it here because it is an ancient alphabet, and what reigns presently in the world is another one. All of this is for you to see how the evolution of the world was. So many things went on that it is not even worth mentioning. However, there comes now in the world rational immunization. Rational immunization was born in Brazil for the new generations that when they arrive in this world, they will adopt, due to it being one understanding only, and for being all for one and one for all. And who is this one? Is It is rational superior. Everything is for you to reach the conclusion that life is good and it is only, and it, and it is not only evil that reigns. The good also reigns. Evil only reigns with the bad ones, who end up bad. The goodness reigns with the good ones, who end up good. Due to them having the goodness in themselves, administered by the Supreme Being to everything and everyone. Therefore, what is a planet? A planet is a living being from the stars, with its life and strength being in this strength, its influence. That way, when a living being is born and this or that planet has its influence over Earth, the living being receives its influence. If the influence is from Mars, the living being suffers a lot, pain too much. If the influence is from Jupiter, the living being suffers less. If it is from Aquarius, even less, and so on. What is the sign? The sign is the stone or the material that the planet adopts and where it has all influence, which is the number being the letter of the planet. And for that, each stone with its planet each metal with its planet, and so the vegetables, animals, and everything that exists in the world, because even to plant it 
is necessary to choose the planet that many times the living being thinks will bring rain, make the plantation, and the planet that comes is dry, and everything dies. Many times the moon promises rain, and it doesn't rain, and at other times it does not promise and brings rain. The planets reign with great fury in the world, there being those that indicate dryness for a long or short time. That is why when you, in the past, guided your yourself by the planets, you lived much better. Men were more capricious, and women too. They strive to have their children being born under the influence of the good planets. There being a few who was careless and had bad kids who were born to bother the good ones, many got to the point to kill their kids when they were born under the influence of the bad planets due to careless or in the due to careless in their relations. Others had mercy not to kill and let them survive, even though they knew that they would be troublemakers and suffer a lot in the world. There it is, the knowledge of the primitive alphabets that arose in the world, where there were many, but the best was that from astrology. With the astrology alphabet, people understood and governed one another better. With the alphabet that reigns until today, one only sees it in the world a progress of martyrs and sufferers. It is an entirely complicated alphabet that gave to everyone this mania of improvements and everything getting worse and worse. Today you look at the alphabet that is in the palm of your hands with the lines, scratches, little points, and cannot decipher anything. All of that has meanings which the living beings do not know how to decipher them. You are with the knowledge in your hands, with life totally mapped out on the palm of, palms of your hands, which is the astrological alphabet and without knowing what it means. It does not mean that everyone is born dull as it is used to say, but due to the ancient people's fault, which are the same as now, and did not continue with the astrological alphabet, which was well advanced in its progress. So beautiful, the living being looking at his hands and know why he was born, knowing everything he has to go through, what he has to be in life, not being able to avoid what is written on his own hands, knowing his entire route into the future, the day and the time of dying, everyone could live so well. But the new generation of the past, with the mania of discoveries, with the fixation of experiences, with the fixation of wanting still better things, gave start to the alphabet that you still accept today. Gave start to the alphabet that you still adopt today, instead of teaching the old one. They taught this one, deviating from right to wrong, the blame is on the ancient generations which could know everything until they reached the pinnacle. If they were born for this or that art, this or that science, being able to guide themselves through the map of life which is on your hands, which gives to everyone the career that they should follow, the place that they should live, the fortune, the richness, and remedied passages. The ambitious and greedy ones who had the will to be rich, but the alphabet showed that they would not be. The others to whom the alphabet said they should be musicians, but they did not want to be musicians. They wanted that science was made according to such wills of wanting to be what they were not born to be. Then these unhappy ones managed to organize another science and another alphabet such that through them they could give expansion to their will. The efforts of those who did not accept their destiny given by the astrological alphabet were in vain. Then they did not want to guide themselves by the right, which is the mania of many, and followed by the crooked for their conveniences. That was what happened back then. Not everyone was happy with the descriptions from the alphabet that they carried on their hands. For example, the alphabet said they could not travel due to this or that. They had to stay in the same place. But because the wish of the living being was another, he did not accept the life he had to live, another one, without many possessions, cared to elevate himself to give expansion to his wish, and did so completely wrong. That is why the new generations back then came on modifying everything, and those who know today regret it. The astrological alphabet was dropped due to the wills and the unconfessable caprices, greed, envy, and jealousy. That is why you live there in the world, all like animals, always learning, but not knowing anything, 
with the map on the palm of hands, showing life's trajectory, happiness and sadness. After all, everything the living being needs to know to live right. It is that mania of nobody accepting to be small. Everyone wants to be big. No one accepts of being poor. Everyone wants to be rich. No one accepts of being down. Everyone wants to be on top. Due to the caprices without knowing that you have the map of life on the palm of your hands, indicating the entire trajectory that you will have to pass by. Therefore, it was not nature that made everyone bad in this world because it gave the map of life with perfect numbers and grammar for you to guide yourselves by them and live well. But the ancient people, due to their unconfessable caprices, did not want to know about it and created another alphabet according to their conveniences. It is proved that if everyone suffers, the ones to blame are the ancient living beings. Today, still, many study the astrological map and even make fortunes, announcing to anyone the past, present, and future. Very correct, due to reading the map that they learned in the true alphabet. However, this is not the alphabet that reigns in the world. The one that reigns is this one you already got used to and which is worthless. Reason why? To make a living. Many seek the astrological alphabet, the map of the sayings on the palm of hands where the living being, in studying only half of it, can already unveil almost the entire life of another. This is to prove to you that the world is good, that everyone was born and is born with good. But you do not want to know about the good and correct, you want to know about the crooked. Like everyone lives on the world, letting go the correct to live wrong. That is the reason of torture being so much that the suffering in life sometimes becomes unbearable, to the point that some ones seek to put an end to life. The astrology alphabet given by nature itself is what should govern, and then the living being would know. By reading the palm of the hands, what would be his passing in life? Who would substitute him in his mission to in the world? Who would be his substitute? But many ancient living beings were not happy in not being, by the astrological map, the substitutes of those who governed, and so in the eager to govern, they went to seek resources to give expansion to their wishes. They invented thus this alphabet that you adopt still today in the world, and so all misunderstanding and disequilibrium of everything started in the world. A few times in the well-off family, there was born a son with the express title in the astrological alphabet to govern and be the substitute of that who was governing or who was going to govern. The rich had their kids that many times were not born with these merits given by nature, and they did not like it, and they did not accept it. They were rich, and they wanted their kids to be big and rich as well. This is for you to see that since the beginning of the world, you never wanted to know about the right, but about the crooked. And because of this, the new generation came to adopt what was crooked, done by ambitious and greedy ones who give expansion to their wishes. In the Orient, they still use a lot of astrological alphabet. In India, the Hindus, and even in Arabia, they still make use of this alphabet. Imagine how many phrases passed until the present time when we are going to get into another superior phase to all, which is rational immunization. The knowledge that I am now giving I, rational superior, with all explanations, bit by bit, of the why of everything, with all the solid bases about everything in this world and outside it. You know, well, the law of transformation. You know that everything transforms itself, and that the transformation will take everything to the true sector, to the true base, where everyone and everything will get to, which are the places you left in rational plane. The world since long comes with a, its modifications, and everything that exists in the world is always transforming to the worse arriving unexpectedly. Now, a transformation to the better, which is rational immunization. No one knows what rational immunization is, but you will get to know it now through this writing. Universe in disenchantment. Then it is that you are going to know what rational immunization is and arrive to the conclusion 
that it is one of the greatest discoveries in the world. You know very well what spiritism is, what spiritualization is, and all their effects, more or less. But in spiritism, it is not the truth. If it is, in spiritism was the truth of truths, and if it was an equilibrated base, through spiritism everyone would be well, and well equilibrated. But spiritism, due to it being a negative base, where the positive was never found, it is that not everyone adopts it, even though it has a piece of the truth. And it is not the truth needed to give equilibrium to the living being. If it gave equilibrium to living beings, since losing it would have defeated all philosophies in all super philosophies and all philosophical sciences, due to since many centuries spiritism is evolving. It is not that in spiritism is not found some truths. In it there are some truths, things and others not. That is why it does not appease the affliction of the afflicted ones, who seek it for solutions to their problems. Those who profess spiritism, the spirits, the spiritists are adventurers, always adventuring to see if they come to some conclusion and never getting anywhere, as they will never be able to get having their thesis as a mystery without solution. Those who know spiritism, whatever kind it may be, and already frequented all of its milieus, got real and left not wanting to know about spiritism anymore, thinking better about it, and saying, this is a piece that is an experience. I am going to experiment, and if I do not have the results, I do not have a reason to protest, because it is a part that is an experience, where I am going to see if I solve my problems and wishes. Then, the living being not solving what he wanted, what does he need to do? He needs to say that not all experiences can work out. Some do, others do not. That is why science says the all living beings have a right. Sorry. That is why science says the all living beings have a spirit. But what is that spirit? Science says that the living being have spirit because they all live from experiences and uncertainty about everything, mistaking more than succeeding. However, the rational part, no one knows. Rational immunization, no one knows. It is a thing that never came to the world, not until now. For the first time, and many, due to not knowing it, interpret it from the knowledge they have of spiritism and say, this is rational spiritism. However, I say to you, rational spiritism is one thing, and rational immunization is another very different. Rational Spiritism is a philosophy arranged by the spiritist, by the philosophers that added the word rational to give value to the science and then the living being to get to know what rational spiritism is, he has to read the books done by the opinions of these spiritist scientists who call it rational spiritism, as stating that in the spiritism of the pureness, that in the science is what is pure. For not to say pure, they say rational, which is the same thing. Now I ask, what is the pureness found in the rational spiritism up to today? None. It is like any kind of spiritism. But because they wanted to set it apart, they called it rational. Rational spiritism. Do not mistake rational immunization for rational spiritism. No one in the world knows rational immunization. You only know the rational spiritism, which is based on science. To say it is purer than the others. You practice rational spiritism the same way one practices any other kinds of spiritism. You use the name rational, which is the most pure of pure names, to make believe that rational spiritism is the truth. But to prove and confirm all of this, it would be necessary that, in fact, the truth was there. However, in the rational spiritism, Everything always stays a mystery. Everything is kept in mystery, due to it being an obscure science, full of doubt and vacillations. Where is in it the rational, which means purity? Nowhere, because each scientist practices spiritism in such a way, without showing anything of rational. Rational is only in name, but truly irrational, because it does not regulate, but it obeys to the conveniences and interests of those who practice it. In each place that you may seek, this rational spiritism is practiced in a way or in a form, 
always different from each other in the way it works. Where is the accuracy of the word rational? How come you call rational science that does not present anything of truth? You present this word rational to elevate the practice of spiritism, but in truth, you all continue in contradiction with the name you put on. Rational means purity and perfection. The rational is pure because it does not depreciate from its being for anything. But there are people who get to know what the true rational is and think it is dealing with rational spiritism, as if they knew what they are thinking and offering contradicting opinions. In this work deal with rational immunization and not with spiritism. Here are the pure teachings and not the rotten and troubling teachings. All of these clear and perfect definitions are necessary, sol solidly proved and confirmed for you to know that in these work, universe and disenchantment, you will find all the truth of truths told bit by bit. This is only to wake up the confused ones who need to be clarified about all of these things for them to know where lie is and where truth is. And so in the future, rational immunization will reign in the universe. Everyone will be immunized and everyone will live in a world of understanding. Brilliant steps, brilliant hours, and brilliant days for all who embrace rational immunization. During the time you lived with the alphabet of astrology, you understood one another very well because you guided yourselves through this alphabet and there was no spiritism. Only after the modification of the astrological alphabet it is that the living beings from the space they are revolted and nature also revolted. Due to you not wanting to adjust yourselves to the alphabet given by her, starting the living beings then to be persecuted by strange forces. In the beginning of the appearance of those forces, they attributed them as any illness, as an attack, a disease or a diabolic art, which at the time took over the person and did with him as well pleased. If everyone guided oneself by the alphabet given by nature, which is there on the palm of the hands of all living beings, there would be no need of the influence of these strange forces, because nature would not get revolted. Therefore, spiritism is a part of astrology. Spirits are living beings from the space which have influence over the living beings from Earth, but it is not with them the equilibrium of everyone in the world. All of the spirits work according to the mission that they have to fulfill and only have influence on Earth, because nature got revolted when humans stopped to guide themselves through the alphabet given by her, to follow that one which they invented to give expansion to their wills. That is what revolted the spirits and nature, and she opened, there on Earth, the door through which the beings from space entered, which are there, progressing according to the education and instructions done by the living beings. Part 22 Everyone in the world is out of the natural. All of this is condemned by the astral superior, as condemned are those who adopt evil with persistence. When, ta when one talks about natural things, you consider it a big mistake. At the same time, being mistaken, you say you are right. With nature, nobody can afford. The natural always wins, because the natural lives with nature, and there is nothing more powerful than her. You protest against the natural things, and who proceeds like that, protest against his own happiness. Who proceeds like that is more than condemned by himself. And so the infants live in an avalanche of mistakes, suffering the consequences of these orbits and flemules. Due to thinking and saying that who is right is wrong and who is wrong is right. Who base upon the natural things of nature? They say it is wrong, 
and who is out of it. It is who is right. Those who base on the civilization, on this education, on this environment, else. Where everything is appearance and nothing else can only be wrong. That is why you suffer the consequences too many times to say, we are conduct by Satan, otherwise we would not suffer so much. The infant moreover says, I do not believe there is a savior because the more I implore to him, the more I suffer. If pureness was in your education, the people would not suffer as they do. Sometimes the desperation is so great that you ask for death. Therefore, go by what I tell you, by the unnatural orders first, and what is from your natural there. List everything which is natural, only does good. And what is from your natural there last. Everything which is natural only does good and not evil. Your natural is evil and that is why you live suffering. And the astral superior does not attend who does not know what says. Who does not know what wants? Due to not knowing true natural, rational superior and everyone from the astral only attend by natural means and methods. Therefore, watch your ideas and notice how erroneous they all are. Do you think that the astral admits all of those contradictions? That it admits evil as an element of prestige as you admit it? That what is natural is with the people from the astral. And what is not natural, the people from the astral do not accept. The right is in the natural, base of things. Outside of the natural, everything is wrong, and in the natural, everything is right. But for confusion being reigning, it is why people adopt these preconceptions as elements of prestige, and so you live doubting of what is not doubtful. The natural does not have any doubts because it is the true one. The natural that you adopt as the true one is the one which is doubtful. As a consequence, our writing does not have those pseudos. It does not have those crimes. Because what it has is of natural, and the natural thing has everything in form. Everything from good to better. And what seems natural and is not everything from bad to worse. The reason why everyone suffers, the rich suffers, the poor suffers, the big suffers, the small suffers. The natural things are adopted by those who do not want to others what he does not want to himself. The natural is all that what can be without prejudicing anyone, it is all that what is superior to everyone, due to nature being superior to everything and nature being superior to everything and everyone. Everyone's duty is to obey and guide oneself by the natural rules of well-doing, to receive what is good, the sowing to himself. But torture invaded everyone with this sulfuric and painful non climature and that is why everyone lives imploring to the superior forces of the invisible form, astral superior, imploring to be contemplate with what you need, with what you believe is of your right, with what you say is of your right, and because you are not contemplate, you keep on suffering in every way, in all manners, and from all sides, without you noticing that all this is because you do not adopt the true natural. I, Rational Superior, and everyone from the Astral will give everything to the obedient ones. 
and the disobedient and rebellious ones cannot count on the people from the astral because it is to count on them in vain no deal if you don't do your part if you are not obedient you cannot count on a powerful stream next to you to overcome the obstacles and everything you need health and peace if you have health and peace it is because you are contemplated with everything and I will contemplate everyone more than you deserve but obedience first because stubbornness does not give good results with the superiors from the astral and so everyone who obeys the astral superior who counts with their solutions and wants to be contemplated must always have in mind what is needed first is obedience persistence and the clear and crystalline way of understanding the things for not making confusion of what is right of the natural things what is natural is good beautiful powerful because it vibrates with nature itself and everyone depends on her there is no one more powerful than her therefore who face things as they are right are will always be contemplated and will always be above suffering they will stop carrying crosses they will stop carrying crosses full of torments and as many living beings do to the point of becoming crazy seeing the time they cannot live like a seeing the time they cannot live like it anymore without knowing what to do with life they are those stubborn and rebellious ones who do not know the true natural orders of things to guide themselves by those but guiding themselves by the wrong of wrongs always in wrongdoing and thus every time made from bad to worse this is for those who make confusion of the true natural with the natural created by your forefathers thus creating this confusion you are seeing no one understands each other big and small ones confusion is in all levels at the same instant you are agreeing you are disagreeing because of this natural that is not the true one notice thus that you are being deceived by a fantasy only living of hypocrisy which is why the world became a nut house therefore do not base upon the things of the world, because those who do suffer too much and those who recognize this big mistake win by the natural methods getting everything they wish. You are all brothers, but notice how you live, ones against others. If the natural was this that everyone adopts, you would live well and happy, but due to nature not being this one, you adopt as true. It is why unhappiness is everyone's guide. This is a practice of common life and what it needs to be and not of what you think it to be. The bells of the astral are for every head, playing the bells to call those in lack of the primordial, which is the obedience to the astral superior the virtues of a good navigator and very much elevated and multiplied all of them being carried out in a proven way solidly in multiple ways each time more therefore the good navigators always elevated to the heights in ways each time higher in happiness glories the riches always multiplying the duty of all infants of both sexes is to do their part to their own benefit so that everything good with the progression 
of the days comes to their hands. What you need, wish, implore, and much beyond, those who do their part on this way. Everything excels, everything shines in multiplication of successive glories, thus working to their own benefit. What is the work? Obedience, persistence, calmness, simplicity. Be beneficent and prudent in all points of view. It does not help anything, the living being, being, to be arrogant and imprudent, because he becomes a disturber of himself by the ideas incompatible with the norms I expose here. The natural order of things has many characteristics. What was born to be high, nature takes it to its high place. What was born to be down nature leaves it in its low place. What was born to be down small, practic nature only provides to that finality. Rachitic, sorry, rachitic. Rachitic. Rachitic or rachitic? I don't know. Okay. The natural order of things has many characteristics. What was born to be high, nature takes it to its high place. What was born to be down, nature leaves it in its low place. What was born to be small, rachitic, nature only provides to that finality and nothing more. These are natural points which vibrate with nature. They are mirrors for all of those huge greatnesses, for all interpretations of the beings given by the formation of the insatiable ones, which make the living being never to be happy with that what he has. If they are tall, the taller you are, the taller you want to be. If you are small, you also want to be big, and there they are, the fights and confusions. You are skinny and you want to be fat. You are fat and you want to be skinny. You are poor and you want to be rich. You are rich and you want to be richer. After all, you are insatiable with everything indolent beings by the own nature, unbalanced ones, and due to this you are so. If you were equilibrated, you would not be so, needing to notice that in relation with nature up until a certain point of view, you are equal, and under a different point of view, you are different. This is the reason why the living beings are only what nature made them for to be what nature wants and that is why many living beings completely illiterate have great fortunes and conquering great riches and other who study to get rich are always in misery the living being has to be what nature wants and not what he wants the living being wants to be rich but nature made him to be poor he fights all life with all means and ways and always poor and another whose nature made to be rich does not need to fight and his richness is resolved naturally without sacrifices there are also those who are not born to be rich but they go for it sacrifice themselves to become rich and what happens Nature takes everything away. It is the same thing as the living being trying to be beautiful. He goes to a beauty institute and becomes good looking. But after stopping to go to the institute, he becomes uglier than before. Notice that there are people who were not born to be rich and end up becoming so, and in the end, end up poor. Now you say, bad business. Yes, they got poor because of this or that reason, but always reasons done by nature, because everyone is ruled by nature. 
and made by her. These are the true things natural. When a tree is born to be small and grows too much, it falls because the tree that is born to be big already brings its construction and roots with to withstand all kinds of weather and the small one has its nature made according to its size. And such are these variations among the living beings, many wanting to be what they were not born for. The living being born to be good is always good, and the living being born to be evil is always evil. The tree born to bear thorns always will bear thorns, and everything is like that. Then the living being says, what a disappointment to those who were born to be poor. It is no disappointment, but a natural factor. The natural factor is what needs to be. That is why the night is night and the day is day. The sun is from one extreme and the moon is from another. Land from another and water from another. The extremes are all different. That is why each one has his sign. Those who have the sign of the sun are, are very happy, and those who were born with the sign of the moon are unhappy. Those who were born with the sign of the stars are very unhappy, and those who were born with the sign of the earth are even unhappier. And so, each one with its own planet, and with his sign, each one living in accordance with his own natural formation made by nature. Part 23 Life is of dreams and illusions Life is of dreams, and that is why everyone dreams with this life. The dreams are so many that hope is the last one to die. The rich dreams, the poor dreams, everyone dreams, life is a dream. You dream that you have life and then from one moment to the next, the dream is over. You lose the life. This is so you dream that you have life, that you are awake. This is to say you dream that you have life, that you are awake. Awake? Awake are all of those who know the rational base. Those, yes, they may say they are not dreaming. They know where they came from and where they are going to. They know the beginning and the end of things and everything. They know the true life and deceiving life, full of dreams provided by nothing, and that to nothing it will return. And so, this series of dreams which everyone maintains, and who dreams like this, lives uselessly. The dreams are so many, the illusions are so many, that the living beings come to a certain point in life and become disillusioned of so much dreaming, without knowing what is worth living in the world like that. And so, this series of dreams with everyone maintains who dream. While the living being dreams and lives life full of dreams, everything goes well. But after disillusioned with the dreams, it is that he recognizes the value and prestige of the dream and verifies that everything has a value only to those who are dreaming, as everyone does day and night. Then, for the living being to stop dreaming, he must seek to know the rational base. You are nothing. But you dream that you are everything. There it is, where the disgrace and disillusions are. Due to dreaming with open eyes, you are all mortals, and that is why you dream that you have life. But they are just dreams, because you die. The dreams you live while you are with life end. If you were not dreaming, you would not die because this is not the reality of life. It is that everything is passing. 
It is enough life being a dream, for it is to be passing. Everything is good, everything is beautiful, but worthless, useless. Apparently everything is worthy, everything is useful, everything is good, and in truth, everything is to the contrary. Why? Because those who dream do not know what they are doing, and only after awake it is when they see the dream. Part 24 The Ignorance About the Invisible Ones Life of the eternal hill of glories has always been and is like this. Then the infant asks, why is it like this? Because the vibration superior to everything and everyone is the invisible vibration, especially the one from the rational part. Therefore, what are the living beings to the invisible vibration? They are nothing. When the invisible vibration wants from everything, makes nothing, and from nothing, makes everything. From black makes white, whatever it wants, or is needed. The invisible vibration is above everything and everyone. Making of everyone whatever it wants, especially when this vibration is from the rational part. The rational part dominates over all points of view. It is the force that rules over everything and everyone and the knowledgeable living beings are those who more or less know these natural things and reply, that's it. The living being who does not have this knowledge of himself or the rest of things adds a question mark on what he does not know and asks himself, do the invisible ones govern us? Do they indeed do with us what they well want? Is there really a superior being? Do the, the superiority is in the invisible world? The living being on earth thinks that we are the living beings who made the world and fall in contradiction when they say they are fools, dumb, or too rude. And so the dismembering of all living beings are given and made by the invisible influences the good influences and the bad influences coming. Notice how in the world there are living beings only in human form, but the thoughts and behaviors are true of beasts because they are unconscious, and an unconscious one does not concept well in life, except from bad to worse. Then live there the dark wings and darkness making confusions with insignificant things and causes. If you look for the reasons, you will not find them. If you look for the whys of the confusions, you will not find them. You regret and say, that's true. The living being many times loses due to interpreting one thing for another and head against the wall. So many steps taken and each step is a head against the wall each step a pain, each step a hell. That is always reigning among the living beings who do not know how to live and who have their opinions as superior to everyone else. For all those under the safety of the astral superior, under the safety of the invisible, of the rational part, the years will be good and fair. Even if those years are governed by the planet Mars, and those who are outside of that safety will be exposed to the disgraces, victims of everything of evil going through distressing and painful events. The world since long has been ruled by the planet Mars, and that is why the world lives from revolts to revolts, dominated by storms, by diseases and wars. These are the revolution of the stars and the action of the invisible comets. The planet Saturn fighting with Mars makes the malefic effects of their fluids, gets down over the people, over humanity, 
The living beings who do not know how to live need to suffer, and that is why there comes Mars to martyrize them, to make them suffer all those who do not know themselves, who do not want to know anything other than worrying with the material things, only obeying matter, thus being the most persecuted by Mars, the most massacred and mutilated. Because matter is of Mars, and in matter are the cruel and desolator martyrdom, the living beings dominated by the astral superior, by the rational base, do not suffer the influences of Mars. They are happy because they obey the astral superior. They are protected by the astral superior, favored by the astral superior, by the rational base. All of those who obey the rational base are outside of the influence of Mars, free from Mars' dominion. Mars is one of the most precise planets to Earth because without suffering, the living beings who are behind do not go, do not go get to their true places because to get there, it is necessary to suffer a lot, becoming more lapidated, to get in shape and on the way of obedience to the astral superior. That is the reason why the living beings suffer and have to suffer much more for being based just on matter. Who wants the goodness shall seek to obey, to be always from good to better. And who does not want the goodness, who denies the goodness, makes confusion, with which does not exist. They deny the goodness because they esteem evil, and those who esteem evil are dominated by Mars, always going from bad to worse. The rational base is not found anywhere outside this work. If the rational base could be found anywhere, you would have already seen the universe in disenchantment, but you never saw it until now. Therefore, it is here where the rational superior is. There are living beings who adopt the invisible ones from the lower atmosphere as the living beings from the astral superior, and because they are not contemplated by them, it is that they continue on suffering. Then they used to say that this suffering is a probation they are passing through, and that everyone in the world passes these probations. Those like that who adopt the invisible ones from the lower atmosphere are subject to Mars influences. Only who do not suffer these influences are those who belong to the rational part. The others who say they are spiritist of whatever kind, scientific spiritism or rational spiritism, are subject to Mars, handed over to Mars, because they are spiritist. Spiritism means inexperiences, uncertain about everything, being pricked, suffering, and never concluding the true knowledge, due to them adopting a path of experiences, and who lives in experiences is not sure of himself he lives a life of uncertainties, full of surprises, full of opposition. Part 25 The salvation of the world is in the immunization. The salvation of the living beings is in rational immunization. To reach it, to get the benefits of its strength, it is necessary only the reading of this work. That is why it is never too much to repeat. Read if you want to win. Who does not read is because he does not want to reach the victory of immunization. Everything that is written here is for you to read and always remembering it. Because if you do not read it continuously, you will forget it. And who forgets knows nothing. Who wants to count with the immunization, with its effects, read it, the more the better. How come the living being wants to become immunized, wants to know without reading? The living being who does not read it is because he does not want to be immunized. The immunized living being is an equilibrated living being and the equilibrium lies in reading and from reading comes immunization. Reading is the essential and in the reading is the knowledge 
and it is of knowledge what everyone needs to be on top of everything in benefit of oneself. Those who do not know how to read will be excused, but those who do will not. Therefore, it is never too much to repeat that it is in the reading the way to rational immunization, and by rational immunization the infants are developed, finding happiness among evil without expecting it, without knowing that they came to count with the powers of rational superior. And so, here are the orientations for everyone to await his day. Get ready for when your determined day arrives. Everything has its time, its period, its day. No one is born, done at once. But little by little, until he arrives to understand the things. Everything in the world is like that, but the ones too wrong do not understand this, and want without getting deep into reading. To get ready of everything, they are living beings who do not understand the natural order of things. Don't you see that to reach re rational immunization, it is necessary to have the integral knowledge of this work? Everything obeys the natural rules, and those who step out of those rules meet with the worst of to himself. The equilibrated being seeks not to get annoyed because he sees that it is not worth he seeks to learn not to worry about the things that only bring bad results. So he seeks to keep up to date with the teachings of disenchantment that are contained therein. To always be less doubtful and less distrusting and to recognize that he does not walk alone anymore. That wherever he is, he will always have the protection of rational superior, ready to enlighten every and each doubt Immunized means ready, perfect, united with the rational, immune, without any spiritual impurities. Reached the superior point, the rational part. Spiritists are all of those who live of experiences, in the uncertainty about everything, in expiation, in suffering, victimized, in the ignorance about everything. Immunized, enlightened, about all turpitudes, accomplishing with his true abnegation point for himself. Everyone who lives and experiences in the uncertainty of everything is the spiritist, and because everyone is a spiritist, he lives like that, always learning, always in discoveries, and always undecided. And then among spiritists always existed great confusions because they do not know why they are like that where they came from, and where they are going to, and why the world is like that. They keep accepting everything that they find there on earth. They think that they are right, and always see the contradiction in themselves, due to always live in uncertainty about everything. There are those who used to say that they channel the most diverse kind of spirits from the father, the mother, the Indian, the saint, the African, finally, infinity of spirits, all of this arrangement from there on earth among the living beings, arrangement that always kept the confusions, and the confusions are such that no one knows where the truth is, and because of it, so much running to the four corners of the world, looking for the truth of truths, without finding it. Confused ones, due to them admitting what they found in the world and accepting it as the truth of truths seeing the contradiction of what they accept under the, those conditions, always experimenting in all places, never coming to a real conclusion, and with time, abandoning everything, due to not finding what they look for, the truth of truths. <clears throat> there it is, how this environment is confusing everything because the living being does not know why he himself is like that much less why the things in the world are like they are. For not knowing, he should not admit something he does not know as, as if it was true. That is why you live constantly dominated by the invisibles from the space there, suffering each time more, forced to find ways and means to get better, and suffering always increasing each time worse. Then, to comfort these blind ones with open eyes, you made up a bunch of phrases be resigned. This is a probation you have to go through. 
Now the living being says to himself, There is no one who can suffer satisfied. Suffering does not make fun to anybody. Laughs. I have to disagree because I think it is impossible that a supreme being has pleasure and feels satisfied with my suffering, with my pain. From there, the living being starts to become a fool with arguments that make believe and disbelieve. At the same time, the living being always stays in the territory of doubts, always seeing everything so mysteriously that difficultly it can be defined. Then, they keep admitting everything as it is, waiting that one day it be unveiled, and they go, always beating, always making more mistakes than succeeding, because life is of experiences. And to improve anything is necessary to adventure. The living being lives in infinity of experiences, each one with his way of interpretation. But those who know the truth of truths, from beginning to end, bit by bit, what is and what is not, what is true and what is a lie, says how we live in a worthless fight. What confusion brings us these backwards means. Everything because you do not know anything from this world until now. And by this rational writing, it is that you will know why everyone is like that, what you are and why the world is interpreted that way by its inhabitants. Now it is that you know where you came from and where you are going to. Before all, where were like that, how you are, what you were, how you were, and why you were. Before the world being as it is, how it was, and why it stops being so, to be what it is. Finally, the living being in this writing knows above all how to define everything from beginning to end. Then he looks at those fools and says, It is true. I also was a fool because I did not know anything, or better, did know as much as all those who are still fooling, wasting time as I did. But now we are close to the truth of truths because the rational writings is in our hands. We are all closer to know the truth of truths because the truth that exists in the world is all illusion and nothing more. It is self-suggestion, and that is why the suggestion is here, in this world, conserved until today. And because everything is suggestion, it is that the right of rights has never been divulged nor defined, as in this writing, it is seen proved. And because all of this is suggestion, it is that the mysteries continue here, perdering without solution. Consequently, you are suggested all are dominated by self-suggestion, and that is why you never define the beginning nor the end of the world, proved and confirmed, because everyone, when is born, already found all of this there, already found the world done, and its owner never gave satisfaction to anyone. Reason why you knew, never knew anything right, everything wrong, and everyone suffering, and who suffers, it is because knows nothing. If he knew, he would not suffer. It is proven, therefore, that self-suggestion is what dominates everyone within this filthiness, full of misfortunes and foolishness, without knowing the true point, which was never found until now, in this writing of Rational Superior, that makes all these expositions for the living beings to free themselves and to spread all of this with accuracy from the beginning to the end giving solid proofs and patented of which enlightens from all points of view to put in shape what is necessary to all. Rational immunization is completely different from spiritualization. Spiritualization belongs to the self-suggestion there. Rational immunization is from another defined point. It is where the beginning and the end of everything is enclosed. The precise divulgations, the culminant point of everyone's redemption. The transformation of this deformation to the natural state. It proves, it shows everything which is, where everything came from and where it is going to, the beginning and the end of everything, proving and confirming bit by bit. 
Then, what does the living being need to do? To read. Read to know and to know how to talk about all of these issues to his own benefit. To reach rational immunization, to become equilibrated, the living being, and to live under the protection of the rational superior. There are living beings due to not knowing nature say that not everyone will be able to become immunized. They are mistaken. Everyone belongs to the same nature and for being the immunization a natural thing, everyone will reach it. Everyone lives on experience, on the uncertainty about everything. And those who live in experiences is spiritist and that is why everyone suffers Everyone is a suffering being due to self-suggestion without having a conviction about what they say or do. It is the only way for you to stop suffering, to stop belonging to the self-suggestion, to have conviction about everything. It is of rational immunization. In spiritism are the living beings from the invisible world that like to pantomime by means of magnetic force. They magnetize a living being from there on earth and show up as they well please, as the devil, as an unknown one, as an Indian, as an old black man, as a child. They show up as anything they want. And for this, to those who do not know how to divulge these things, there is a great confusion when unveiling this mystery. Thus, everything of that is needed for the invisible people to be known, recognized and respected among the people from there on the ground. And so everyone lives touching in the world to learn, to see if it works or not, and always in the uncertainty about everything, science is like that. And so everyone keeps on touching to see if they succeed or not, if it works or not. Everyone always living like that, horribly, in the uncertainty about this, in the uncertainty about that, in doubt about this, in doubt about that, suspicious about everything, thinking a whole bunch of things, always in experiences to see if it works. And because you live like that, it is the science became to understand that everyone has a spirit. In rational immunization, to the contrary, there are no doubts. One does not live from experiences. One does not live in suspicion because it gives us the true knowledge of the natural things and teaches us the reasons of the world, the reasons for everything proving and confirming the truth of truths. The living being is distrusted about everything. Many times he is trusting and the bad interpretation is enough to become suspicious. Many times because of a word, because of a look, because of a gesticulation, because of coincidence, is that generates calumnies of enemies for nothing. So at the same time, the living being is trusting. He distrust. He gets bothered and does not know whether he is on firm land or treading on false. Always distrusted because of not having any warranties on the way of living. Because you are spiritist, it is that you are discouraged. Many times you are encouraged. But because of this or that, because of anything, you cool down. You are all discouraged due to not having a defined position and be beings in experiences. All of that is tolerable for the immunized ones with the progression of the reading. You will better this state of things, feeling less perturbation until the point of total equilibrium. The immunization goes on strengthening the living being until he is strong enough to dominate himself and to have a defined situation. Then the living being stopped to live in experiences. He is complete, is Lord of himself. He is an equilibrated one. The word spirit has many ramifications and derivatives. It means shrewd, expansive, explorers, takers, astute, deceivers, because they cannot prove that all they do and say is true. They prove nothing, and because they cannot prove anything, they enclose everything as something mysterious and without solution. They do not know where they came from, much less where they are going to. They do not have conviction, certainty about what they say, 
what they do, and that is why they are deceived and deceive others. Therefore, what is spiritism? Adventurers who do not give divine proof of what they are, of what the world is, an invisible, undecipherable thing which the living being know exists, but cannot get from the divulgation of the truth due to their situation also being of doubt and experiences. Who bases on a being who does not prove and confirm the truth of truths? He is deceived and deceiving the others, and that is why everyone lives suffering in the world, each time more, without even trusting themselves. Coming from that, the selfishness and jealousness, it is not to say that the spiritism is not true, but the truth of truths it is not in spiritism. It is only a diminutive particle of the truth. You know that the vacuum is inhabited by the invisible ones, and because they are invisible, they are treated as spirits. There are, therefore, the invisible ones of all categories, good and bad, which present themselves to the living beings. From there, with the formation or identity they well please, some of saints, others of guardian angels, as saint, woman, as they well please, according to the instructions and capacity of the environment where they present themselves. There are places that accept that and others do not. There are places that do not accept and consider it as in absurd as it is in fact. Everything depending on the place of the living being where they arrive and act according to that place. This is for you to see how all of this is complicated, needing to explain by various ways to prove and confirm the nullity of these things and the certainty of others. The living being which is born on this earth there already finds all of this and keeps admitting it as a thing of great usefulness. Being enough, however, the suffering to verify that everyone is wrong and that the world is going through a situation to quote unquote save yourself if you can. This is the conclusion of the living being, then sprouting on himself the greediness, the avidity, the necessity, and the effort to get higher and to improve always with fear of suffer and doing everything to overcome the wars, fights, confusions, annoyances, everyone aiming to get better each time more. Part 26 What is Disenchantment? There are living beings who read the universe in disenchantment and do not know what it means. Because if they know what the word disenchantment means, they would say that in this work are the world's solutions. You became disenchanted, saved yourself, because in the disenchantment are the solutions of the world because you are very behind. You read universe and disenchantment and do not know what it means. Such a common and simple word, a writing done by the enchanted ones from there in the world is one thing and a writing done in a different meaning is something else. The enchanted ones do not understand and start to make confusions many times saying or thinking that it is a strange way. It is strange indeed because it is the writing from the disenchantment done completely different from what you know from the enchanted world of there. If it were a writing done like the type and way of the enchanted ones, you would interpret it very well and understand it even better. But for being from the disenchantment and written to disenchant, it is why you do not understand it at first. The disenchantment is a thing that you did not know. You are knowing it now. The enchantment. You know it very well because you are enchanted ones. Notice that there must be a very big difference in the way of writing and in the redaction of the subjects. Disenchantment cannot write one subject only from start to finish. It 
has to be of places, of subjects, woven with other, and with the progression comes the finality of all. For being disenchantment, it has to describe a subject, stop that subject, start another, stop this one and start a new one, from this to skip to another, and with the continuation of the writing, complete the sequence of subjects until their end. That is what disenchantment is. Now, what it is from the enchantment of bear, it is totally different. The way of speaking and the way of writing of the enchantment is one, and the way of disenchantment is another. Due to not knowing this, it is why you find in this work an odd way. But if you knew it, you would understand the writing of the disenchantment, which you only will understand as you read and know the reason of this. These repetitions are necessary because there are living beings that need to have these things explained by all means, due to them being too rude, and there are others that do not, who soon get the difference and understand that the disenchantment is totally different from the enchantment. The living being, when does not understand, must stay quiet until he is educated and not making confusions for not knowing how to interpret as he should. And so, checking those things out to straighten these swallows, because there are living beings who read as a parrot. They finish to read and do not know what they read. There are people who finish reading and when asked about what they read, they know nothing. They are parrots who speak a lot of things, and when they stop liking, they know nothing. Living beings who read without attention, because the living being who pays attention in what he reads, he knows how to relate what he reads at any time, and only those who know will take advantage of readings. Those who pay attention in the reading, those who have the knowledge to tell parts of this work because those who do not know cannot take any advantage. The living being must have determination and caprice to resolve all that this work teaches with precision and benefit. But many interpret it differently. They read because the order is to read, but do not devote the necessary attention when they finish reading, they know nothing, and when they attempt to explain something, they get it all wrong. There is no need to store everything, but yes, the most important parts are def more defined, well clear, and well clarified to reach the goodness given by rational immunization, which it pertains to like a base, like this one, rational. Everything is always from good to better, always multiplying, culminant, Everything that is good, everything that is beautiful, everything that is pleasant, it is a treasure of the treasures for those who receive the graces from rational superior. All of those who receive the graces from rational superior have a treasure of treasures. All of those who belong to rational superior have the treasure of the treasures. All of those who are consecrated by Rational Superior have the treasure of the treasures, while those who receive the graces of the people from the lower atmosphere are not consecrated. They receive the spiritual influences, which can be considered a tiny treasure, and that is why there is great confusion among the people mistaken the people from the lower atmosphere for rational superior. The lower atmosphere in this immense vacuum between sun and earth, those inhabitants who inhabit this vacuum are the people from the lower atmosphere. Rational plane is much above the sun, the moon, and the stars, much farther 
then from the earth there to the sun. Part 27 The Influences of the Inhabitants from the Lower Atmosphere the living beings there from the universe are all subject to the influences of the people from the lower atmosphere, and that is why in the world there is confusion among all, because the living being does not have equilibrium. They cannot be adjusted, influenced by the inhabitants from the lower atmosphere, where exist the good and the bad ones of all characters, to do everything without seeing whether it is good or bad. That is the reason of the living being. One time is thinking well and bad at another. One time is sad and happy at another. Sometimes encouraged, others discouraged, without knowing why, without knowing how to explain this change. These are influences that the living being receives from the inhabitants from the lower atmosphere, from good or bad inhabitants. And that is why the living being does not have stability, varying thoughts and attitudes constantly, everything for being subjected to the influences of the people from this vacuum that exists between earth and sun. And those who did not want to recognize their nature, like all the blind ones with open eyes who live on that world, here is the origin of all horrible suffering that one sees there in the world. For not having the true knowledge of what the world is, of why you are like that, and of what you are, the living being implants the suffering of the upcoming days and the present as he already implanted it in the past because he is not sure about why he is like that and everyone is like that of what they are of what they were of what they must be of what they have to be because with time everyone will arrive to his true place forced by the suffering which presses on every time more universally due to the living beings are completely unaware of their own nature. It is the reason you live suffering. The more they do to get better, the more everything gets worse. They become more misunderstanding. Suffering increases more. Affliction shines more. But some, getting into this spiritualization, this spiritualizing door, stay closer to this other one, which is of the astral superior. And here are the written data, elucidating how to reach, how to arrive here in rational plane by means of rational immunization. There are living beings who only embrace the bad and evil people from the lower atmosphere. These become wicked, revengeful, and malevolent. They are living beings of bad nature who need a break in order to be corrected in their malevolent nature. They are impossible living beings who need someone to dominate them of such a bad nature that they need to be controlled by the invisible beings from the lower atmosphere, who, even though they are bad, they stop with their influences, the instinct of evil of these living beings. Part 28, Science and Spiritism. Those who follow the spiritualization of the various denominations go on being lapidated with a lot of difficulty until they reach rational plane. But the living being who follows this writing does not need to make such a large detour because in this, the, those data he found the way and the direct entrance to rational plane. 
these points need to be well elucidated because they are essential to everyone's life and their knowledge will avoid all of those suffering that one sees in the world. The children are being brought up by that education following infinity of philosophies, super philosophies and tales, and only when they know what is written here, it is that they will get away from those norms to say, now I know consciousness, what everyone's nature is, and I cannot anymore feed the bitterness of upcoming days. Working toward for elucidating oneself and elucidating all others by the clear and correct means that are herein proved and confirmed for the good of the living beings. Notice carefully how spiritism has been progressing during the latter days. It is a terrifying thing. The people distance themselves from other philosophies trying to find support in spiritism, which has already become more than popular, spreading throughout all places each time becoming larger. They are the first steps to each rational plane, or not reaching this grace. Some reach it and others do not, and many already start to know here, counting with the influences from rational plane. All of these who know their nature and guide themselves by the points proved and confirmed which are herein. They will always walk correctly, whereas those who step out of this norm will suffer twice as much, due to them following the doubt and mistake. There it is, the cause and origin of everyone's suffering. The action and the living beings suffer under the influence of the inhabitants from the vacuum. Where everyone lives in doubt and experiences, there is no understanding. It is the same time you are understanding one another. You misunderstand one another. Everything because of that action that obliges the living being in these conditions to be a disturbed one, making him to reach his path in any way, through joy or pain. That is why science made everyone aware that you all had spirit, as if saying, everyone is a spiritist, everyone needs to look for them, spirit is an invisible thing, superior to your category, dominating from all points of view, all living beings of that world. The living being who has knowledge about his nature must collaborate toward his own benefit because if not, he will get nothing and suffer twice as much because he errs consciously and not due to innocence. He is conscious of his mistakes and if he keeps erring, it is because he wants to suffer. The innocent ones get the discount for being innocent. But the conscious ones, not those, do not deserve the discount and suffer twice as much because they work against their own serenity, against their dignity, against their happiness, against peace, and against all that is good, only seeking evil for themselves. And so see that no one has peace, nowhere. No one lives happy. There is no understanding because you live more often discontented than happy. Thinking on this, on that, or on that other thing, the living being feels a state of being within themselves that they even know how to explain. They feel fatigued, tired, unmotivated, without courage, many times to take care of their activities. So disturbed in such a way that suffering comes to prove that all human beings are a spirit that stays in half of the knowledge and that is why he knows nothing else of himself, always learning, persecuted by the living beings from the vacuum, from the lower atmosphere, 
that are entrusted to nature itself of making by force of so much suffering to get everyone to arrive to their places as fast as possible. Nature is already entrusted of making the living being to return to his place of origin. And that is why, by one way or another, by good or evil, it goes on making the living being to look for the way to rational immunization, to reach the rational plane. For those who seek their own good, there is the map of the path in your hands, knowing what you are, why you are so, what the stubborn ones do not want to understand now. Tomorrow, with the days going by, they will want and beg for. The spiritualized ones, spiritist in experiences, will also get through this means to no rational immunization. But those who now know this work, this exposition of the truth of truths, will not need to do this so long roundabout as having here the salvation in the book of disenchantment, universe in disenchantment. It was said that everyone is a rational animal, but with time you will no longer be so. And for knowing what you are, knowing through rational immunization, you will pass from rational animals to pure rationals. It was said that everyone was a rational animal because you were very much behind and did not know the true natural of the human being. But with time, with the explanations that are now arriving here, it is that you all will arrive to your true places as soon as possible, fastest possible. It is very unpleasant to live as you do, a life of discontented ones, of unhappy ones. That is why one says, it is a life of rational animals, which now, through these explanations, it will change, passing to be a life of happiness. The living being will not worry anymore, nor exposed to the cruel ones from from Anil hillsides which are the invisible living beings inhabitants from the vacuum there entrusted with the task of to stun and mutilate everyone and who do everything of evil to annoy and uneasiness to all on earth